All right, Dave Pepcorn is here, folks. Dave is a Fargo City Commissioner. We're at the Black Building celebrating the fact that they are doing the grand opening of this event, a little ribbon-cutting event today. Tours of the building starting at 10 o'clock this morning. I hope you'll come on downtown and witness some history. This is really cool, isn't it, Dave? It's awesome. What a beautiful uh, restoration. And to see this vibrant again, what a great thing for our downtown. Yeah, no kidding. Now, if you do the math in this building and how many floors and how many offices and uh, you start thinking about how many people can be in here with this, with this building restored, this, this, this will be a little economic juggernaut just as one building. Right? It's so exciting, and uh, they did such a great job of restoring it, bringing back the vibrancy, you know, the historic windows and the terrazzo floors. It's beautiful. If I had an unlimited budget, I'd buy one floor and turn it into a condo because it's just, there's windows on four sides, and so it's uh, it's beautiful. If you're looking for an office, by the way, they have these fit up already with office furniture and everything ready to go. Right. So you can you can, you can can move in right. in an office on the uh, on the fifth floor right away, and that's what we'll see today. And the tours go till 1 o'clock today, so I would encourage people and especially people that have been here in the past uh, you can come and see what what uh, what it looks like now and it's it's phenomenal it really is it reminds me of the Empire State Building it's obviously not as tall but it has that kind of iconic uh, look to it and they've kept a lot of the the flavor of the history haven't they it's beautiful and not, now to be able to go downtown and see all the lights on will be a great thing and I think a couple floors are already spoken for so we hope you come on down and pick out your floor uh, I think uh, Lots of people are looking at it, and it's it's beautiful. You know, we have a beautiful new building right on along I twenty nine. But you know, the the history, the radio history that's in this building. You know, WDAY radio began in the Black Building. I did not know that. Yes, and and uh, Peggy Lee, and uh, you know, all that live entertainment. They would bring they would bring the entertainment right in here. And, uh, you know, so think about that. So I hope I'm not speaking out of school. But then the Schlossman family, this was originally owned by them, This, you know, their store that was here. Uh, the, the interesting story was, so they, I don't remember, it was Elm Tree Square, so there was trees on the lower level. When they took those out, they put them in, into the compost pile because they thought they were trees, but they were not made out of wood. And so they had, they had to bring them to the other, the other recycling. Recycling, yeah. yeah. goes in the plastic jug yep. bin. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about uh, downtown today versus downtown prior to this uh, renaissance of the Renaissance Zone and the uh, and the other uh, developments. Um, I- I- as you look at it, beginning to end, how'd you des- how would you describe it? Well, so I've been here a long time, and I'm sure you have too. And back in the day at 5 o'clock, the downtown would kind of empty out. There was lots of businesses, but they wouldn't. And now the change is... Uh, there's lots of people that want to live and stay downtown and work downtown, and so it's just great. And I think there's lots of people that des- deserve credit, the legislature and the Renaissance Zone and, and investors and all those things. There's many people that deserve credit, uh, but it's it's something I think we need to take advantage of in the future too. And we have lots of exciting things. I was talking to Steve earlier. We have a couple more parking ramps coming, and uh, not to let the cat out of the bag, but we might have another similar project to Block 9 uh, in the hopper. Is a similar project to Block 9. Yes. Which is like this, you know, unbelievable skyscraper going up downtown Fargo. And so Bruce Grubb is our city administrator. He goes, you know, if we're not careful, we're going to start having a skyline for Fargo. Isn't so, that something? Isn't that awesome? Yeah. We like it when you let cats out of the bag, by the way, in the program. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. We, uh, we, 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 uh, we like that all the way. So do you think we'd be here right now today but for uh, uh, the programs available to uh, downtown developers? I, I don't. And I, I do think... That isn't the only reason, you know, tax incentives and all that. But I do think all those things play a part, and I think they all add up together. And lot, like I said, lots, a lot of that happened a long time ago. Like in the legislature, the Renaissance Zone was copied from another state, and it's turned out to be a good. So I think those all, those kind of, it's a cumulative effect. So if you're a John Q. developer and you're looking to do the next Block 9 or, you know, renovate the, the Black Building, what's available to you? Oh, there, I, there's multiple programs, and if anybody's interested, I would encourage them to contact the city because there's many, many different things. And I, the other thing I will say with the Kilborn Group, they don't use programs for every one of their projects. And so, and the other, I just want to give them one more compliment. They do such a good job of the history, you know, learning about the history of the building and also the quality that they do. Uh, they set a high standard for all the other developers with these older buildings. If you walk around, it's like this is. Uh, very well done. And, and most of the other ones that I've been in, the same thing. They, they do a good job, which is we're fortunate. So the Renaissance Zone is largely a, a tax rebate, right? right. No, he, he, I'll, I'll, So I'm not that bright, so I try to keep it simple. Basically, it's a five-year, you freeze your property taxes, and then after five years, it resumes at the level that the, new, that the building will be at. The, the new higher level. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you, you basically get a, f- a five-year freeze, and then, it, and then it goes back to full boat. 
Right. At at the, at the full value. Correct. And if you do a, if you do a, a tax incentive, uh, you've you've done those before as well. Yep. Explain that. So pilots and, and and those type of things, I would say basically it's just a longer term of that. You still pay property taxes at your existing level. Once that expires, you go back to full boat. Does that that's that's the way I would like I said I'm not that bright, so I like to keep it simple, and that's that's how it goes. And uh, these developers need to present a plan that says, okay, here's the math. Here's right. what we think this is going to cost to renovate. Right. Here's what these programs are going to help us do. And if we don't have the programs, this doesn't pencil out. We can't do it. Correct. It and has then, to be the but-for test, right? Exactly. And what we do is we have the, we have an outside firm. Uh, that's their expertise. They review all of the developer's proposal and go through it for us and either give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Yeah. So you're, you're not trying to be... Uh, you know the folks that are you're, you're relying on data from a professional that's outside that's well, independent. Well, we have to. I mean, for myself and most of the other commissioners, that's not our expertise, and so we rely on them. We also review it, and our staff does. But to have a third party, that's very important. My theory is, if uh, I took one sheet of paper and uh, showed you the value of downtown Fargo prior to the Renaissance Zone, in other words, what the taxpayers had in the way of uh, of, of dollars that were generating property that was generating revenue. And then said, okay, we're going we're gonna to put some dollars in here, and here's what's going to cost us. And Renaissance Zone, five years where we're going to be at the old uh, amount rather than the new amount, okay? Uh, t- tally that up and go through and do the math on every month. And one piece, piece of paper, you'd very quickly see, well, hello, th- th- this investment of these incentives and Renaissance Zones, whatever, uh, look what it took us from. Uh, right. Point A to point B, this is a no-brainer, right. right? And if you ever want to, we, our staff, we have the actual numbers, and it's, we, it's about a 300% return on what we did. But if you ever want to know the factual numbers, we have it. But uh, Mayor Furness was here. It, 25 years ago, the city of Fargo, we had to do something because our property values were declining in the downtown, and that was affecting our budget. And so you'll, you can talk to him anytime. Uh, that's, that's the main reason we started doing this was because we needed to do because we had an issue. Um, I, I know your colleague on the city commission, Tony Garrick, has been a vocal opponent of this. You know, talked about it during his campaign. Has talked about it since. Um, I don't. I don't get the sense there's a huge constituency that agrees with him that these are a bad investment, right? I mean, I, I understand he is, and I respect his opinion. Me too. But I'm saying I, I don't. I don't really sense that this is like a groundswell. Do you? I don't. And and I. I it's not bad to, to have somebody that makes us make sure that we are doing this correctly. So, I, but I, I, it's this Renaissance Zone, especially. It's proven. It's money in the bank, and so t- I'm not that bright. But you got to if you have something that's very successful, keep doing that. If it's not, it's like the Bison running the football. If we're winning the game and running the football, don't say, you know what, we should start throwing the ball now just because uh, that should be a good idea. It's a good analogy. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me, Scott. Appreciate it, Dave Pepcorn, Fargo City Commissioner. On What's on Your Mind, brought to you today in part by our friends at Chose Investments. For more than 40 years, they've been bringing plans to life, making dreams come true by delivering expertise and service to anyone looking to lease office space, buy or sell land, or develop office buildings. Find out more at choseinvestments.com, K-J-O-S, investments.com.